Welcome to our new and improved book room at Gardner Dickinson. We hope this video will explain to you our reading program here at Gardner Dickinson and how we're using these wonderful uh, materials to support our reading instruction here. A large part of our two-hour bounds literacy block in K-6 is spent with teachers conducting guided reading groups. Guided reading is comprised of students reading in small groups at their instructional level. Teachers monitor and track every student's individual reading level throughout the year. They use reading materials at these exact reading levels to support their instruction. Reading levels are on an A to Z progression created by authors Fontanus and Pinnell, known as F&P reading levels. These A to Z reading levels correlate to grades one through six. This is the correlation chart that teachers use to determine whether or not a child is below, on, or above grade level reading. For example, a child coming into first grade should be reading at a level D in order to be considered reading on grade level. This is an example of a level D book. As you can see, the text is simple, repetitive, and heavily supported by the illustrations. At the end of grade one, students reading at a level J are considered reading on grade level. As you can see, the text is much more complex with students being able to read a variety of genres, including early chapter books, and are now able to quickly apply word solving strategies independently. As true with all areas of their lives, children progress through different stages in their own time. Individual guided reading instruction allows students to progress through these levels when they are ready. For instance, if that first grader leaves first grade at a level G and not a level J, they can continue to receive instruction at a level G in second grade, even though it would be considered below grade level. On the flip side, if a student is reading at the third grade level during their first grade year, they're provided that accelerated reading instruction during first grade and each year after that. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with us today learning more about guided reading and the materials we use to support individual student growth. Uh, please know that at any time you can talk to your classroom teachers should you have any more questions. Um, they're always available for you. Thank you.